You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. Been a while since this map. From the ground indicate Hope I'm not on the tank spawn. Within city limits. We should get down there and secure the area as quickly as we can. I've played this damned map a couple times, I think, since we started doing the kitchen gimmick. At least once, I think. No, actually, I'm not sure. I don't think we've ever done kitchen gimmick on this map. I think that was the previous campaign, previous shootcom. Can't remember. Anyway, either way, we always get the damn tank spawn. I feel like I haven't got the vanilla spawn of this map in a long time. So cross your fingers for me. I'd like to get the normal spawn because I, I hate fighting from the tank spawn. Come on, sideways spawn point. Is that even a thing? Can you spawn on the boats? Yeah, come on, right there. I see the LZ. We're, we're at the vanilla. Central. Yes. That's better. Yes! Strike one, is Strike one is opening up the alien counter. You can buy 14 aliens. And if you order over the limit, you're, you can store your order as credit, but it won't go through and you have to reorder again. Thank you very much, everyone. Motion tracker is on. The kitchen is open. And I have immediate contact, but immediate meld as well. Two saws will light them up. You could go in the middle. Pedro says, I can't recall the last time you spawned on this end on this map. I feel like I had mechs. What? Okay, hang on now, hang on. We heard the alarm commander do not panic. Ten thin men. Team of plumbing professionals are here to help. Great. Dieci team means here to provide your plumbing need and opportunity to the two summiting other than sectors. Wow, thank you so much. For one, that is actually legit legitimately a huge order to help me pay my plumbing bill. So thank you, thin men. Two, that's ten out of fourteen ordered with four more on the way. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ten Thin Men! Interesting. How do you fight ten Thin Men? You also kind of want to break loss on them because of the, the gas. The acid. I don't have macrophages here. The problem with ten Thin Men is if I open these doors now, they can... They're just gonna smash me with hide advantage by jumping up on the rafters. Part of me was like, do I run forward and like fight the nearest pod? But now I'm like, do I go hide behind the container crates? I wish I had, like, collateral damage. I would open this up and just get inside it. I may still do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I may just hide in the fucking containers, honestly. Or maybe I'll blow the side open and go firing port, firing port, blow the side open, firing port, firing port. One, two, three, four, full cover. And then have the engineers up here. One... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So you're looking like around here. The idea would be to like hold them up bare on either side, and then when they get close, have the engineers spring over and grenade them. Isaac says, should I also order or do some people want to get some aliens in? Because I don't want to overlap how people are mid-order. That's so kind. I think you're the first person in the history of this gimmick to actually ask first. Wow. Round of applause. Just a short one. What do you think Thin Men's have synergy with? Um, well, they lock you down with Acid, and they're pretty good shots, so they, they will win the trench war against you. Sectoids would make them trench win harder, because you're going to stack Mind Fray with Acid, and you're going to trench war. You could use Floaters to pair with the Acid, so consider the Acid like a suppression and the Floaters flank. Um, drones, same thing. Thin Men lock you down while the Drones rush in and assault you, and you can't kill them because of Acid penalties. Um... All of those would be nasty with 10 Thin Men. Uh, I think going forward is a big mistake either way, though, because, like, you're just going to activate too much shit. M maybe I really do, but then, hang on. Set the donation from no you before a team. <laughs> one, one more. more team man, please. One more Thin Men. You got it. That's one more Thin Men. Three aliens left to buy. Let me write this down. Ordering a lot of Thin Men. Well, they're new on the menu. They're a hot new dish. Now I'm gonna get... And people are gonna say wow a lot more, because I'm about to... There's gonna be 11 wows. That is 11 Thin Men. 11 Thins. Problem if I blow open the container crates, as I do my strategy here, is I get hit from the roof. You know? Because it's gonna be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm gonna get hit from the roofs if I do that. More and more, I'm thinking maybe the only strategy is to just like...
do more hiding. I don't know. Like, if you go to here, you probably can't get hit from the roof. It, that's a probably. I mean, at that point, Beagle, you could just, like, take cover here. Rather than blowing them open. And then just take cover here and here. You don't need to blow that open or anything, you stupid idiot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen... 16. Hang on, this is important. Get that counting and I fucked it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, now that's important. That means the Thin Men cannot get you from here. They could at best hit you from here. That's important because one, they're less likely to show up here than they are to just like show up here. Like it's further out for them to move to. Two, I can grenade that cover. So let's say we have two people holding the back here, okay, probably a gunner, probably danger zone gunner goes here is why. Who's the best tank actually? Who's the tankiest? Yeah, okay, definitely Zwei. So Zwei's gonna come to here. Alright. Van Dorn probably comes over here. Though, you get no value out of that, potentially, maybe... Mm. Anyway, yeah, Van Dorn are here, okay. Rauk it. I probably steady here. And then we go, the engineers stay up front. And you, Cause you just gotta make sure that like, any position that could flank the engineers is covered. Uh, <laughs> donation from the video Gameraptor Bog. This team unsold me a defective GDM on Aliexpress. I never said man, thank you. Help me report him to the site moderation with bullets. <laughs> <laughs> in reporting with the Power Stones, but they do not think they are in the XCOM universe. Thank you very much. Another Thin Man. Thank you for your uh, order, Raptor Bogle. Appreciate it. More cover to use against you on the left. Rocket there, maybe. Maybe. There's a bunch on the right, too, though. And full cover to watch out for there. Rocket on the right. Why well, just ask Thanos to do it? Thanos died. Sorry, everyone. Grenadiers stay up front, and I don't know what the scout do, or the medic, you just kind of like find spots. But that's basically the plan, everyone kind of like hangs out at the back. One, two, three, four. Hunker if you have to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You want three up front, so who are the three up front? Both the engineers, Brenchar, Jessanomicon, and then... The medic? That don't feel right. But I guess it's gonna be... The medic, yeah. That don't feel right. That is, that is not right. It don't feel right because it's not right. Figure it out. I think it's my best bet, though, for surviving, because... Other than that, they can't really take the full cover against me on this side. So just make sure you're back there. And hopefully they're just gonna bumble into the half cover. Oi! 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 Maxed out, thank you! For the Canadian. Thank you very much. Oh. No more orders. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, we're maxed Too out. Too many team men. Oh. Oi. Or not any team men. Oi. Canada. Canada, okay. Thank you very much. Fourteen thin men. Bimbledore, Bimbledore, Bimbledore is a great name. Bimbledore says, am I the only one who's convinced Beagle only lets people spawn an alien because he's tired of Exalt making him go broke? It's all a scheme to be able to sell more corpses. That is me, a corpse seller. The only thing I'm worried about here is if I let them take this position, they flank me. But do I have that covered? I do. But if they take this position and they flank the engineers, it's bad. Ah, uh, it's not, it's not ideal. That said, I don't really have many better choices here, I think. I think just go for it. What'll be, what'll be, and I think it'll work out okay. So. Zwei. Good copy. Moving on top. This position. Rocketeer. Here. West Dorn. Start moving over there. The average choice is I could just have the engineers, like, hunker back here and move up as needed. Or even here. That gets you shot, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. No, not quite. Okay, so this position is okay to hold. Maybe the NGs can hunker here, maybe. And the rest of you will overwatch. 
But you can't go there, that gets shot from the roof. You have to hunker if you're going there. So actually, engineer, engineer hunkers here. That's one of them. Alright, so you... And you should be a grenade then, because you can run up. Grenade, it should be fine. Let's do this. Isaac says, did I ever tell you about the time last summer when I got a crate full of boxes full of After 8 Thin Mints? No, you have never told me that. You have absolutely never told me that story, no. Battle Rifle Medic. Okay, where do we want you? Where do we want you? Probably have you two chill and hunker here. Heading there now. Maybe you come here. Maybe you go there for now so we can battle scan. We're going to scan and see him coming in. That should help. Um, you can come to here for now, I think. Headed there now. Okay, we're gonna go steady. Overwatch. And now I gotta drop 14 Thin Men. And there's, there's more out there already, so... Okay. Interesting spawn point. Count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen thin men. I, I did that right, didn't I? Fourteen thin men. That's too many thin men, by the way. That's really too many. Maybe I should hold the front with the shotguns, I don't know. What what do you guys do afterwards? Yeah, I've tried that sometimes Master Chef, but on this map I wouldn't go for it. I'm not against as many thin men. And not of this squad. Yeah, you can move up to here, you can move up to here. We have we have options. You don't have options, you have a problem. Spectral says, says, Spectral says, I've never been this nervous watching a mission. I might die. Yeah, you straight up might. In motion. You straight up might. You need to move, but not just yet. You need to come okay. here. Keep steadying, I think. Nah, just overwatch. Right. Got my overwatch. We're going to scan. Not yet, but we are going to scan. Wait for it. We're going to steady you. Overwatch. Firing lines are a bit split up on the right sides there. It is what it is. This position is the only one that can be shot by the rooftop cover, if I counted correctly, so you gotta watch that. The rocket has pretty decent angles from the right, as good as you could hope for. I think now might be the time to scan, or maybe give it one more turn. Maybe give it one more turn. When I do scan... Can I get it inside? No. No, I can't. Maybe don't scan. Like, what are you even going to do with that information? Nothing. Maybe just wait. Okay, you need to move around. You need to go there. Next turn. We're quite clustered for gas, too, which is its own problem. I don't know. I'm trying to do the best of what I got here. Maybe I should have just blown open the container crates, but it's a bit late now. We've got contact. Okay, so Dawn doesn't even have a shot there, so you want to break loss. Let him come a little bit closer. Try not to cluster too hard, probably. You're gonna come here, and then you can move up to there. You're gonna chill. You're gonna break loss, I think. Let him get closer. Okay. I'm on it, Commander. I don't like this because we're very defensively postured and we're just gonna get acided, but we're gonna do our best, you know? I think this is our best here. 
Gonna let them get a little bit closer, then spring out and grenade them. That's got you... ...flanked like that. I can suppress you there, but not much better. If I have a scanner, I could see if I could make that flank about it being... I have a scanner scanner. I have, I have an actual scanner. Hang on. Here's what I'll do. Because we don't know they're in that position yet, right? They actually have to move there, too. So here's what I'll do. I'll move you to here. Heading out. Hello, hello. That's a problem. We cannot break loss anymore anyway. It doesn't look like they want to come any closer than that, which sucks for me. I gotta start killing Thin Man, but if I move you up to there, you're fucked anyway, so that's not gonna work anyway. This is why I needed to have the engineers up here, probably. To be taking advantage of this shit. Probably good to get a battle scan going here, so we can play this smartly. We need to know, like, what's going on out here, you know? We need to know what the deal is. You scan there, at least this turn. See how many of them have gone this flank, or if they've spread out across the map. This is a disturbing sight, to say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine. Floaters in the back there, so if I run up, I'll activate the floaters. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Nine thin men there. Rocket should be here, actually. We should move the rocket over. It looks to me like the rest will be on the side, though, to be honest. It's a lot of angry circles. It is a lot of angry circles, that's right. You're probably gonna wanna, like, bring the rocket over either way by hook or by crook. You need to make that move, I think. Hey, right over it. Thanks for the raid. We are having an interesting time right now. Bond Smither, come over here. I'm gonna reposition the rocket. I'm gonna rocket them in a second. You are in a very fucking interesting position. They can just jump up there and get you, so you kinda of just have to hunker, I think. Just hunker and wear it. You gotta shoot or suppress. Probably shoot. So they can also come get you over there. Maybe I should smoke. Maybe we should do like a regular smoke here. Not the full on dents. Do I do have three denses? And I'm hopefully about to rocket a bunch of them. So maybe we just dense this turn actually. And then we can shoot. Because I, I need to stay like ag aggressive here. Like three, five, seven, seven. Well, it doesn't really matter. Three. In case you want to flank, let's go three, five. Because I could, I could actually flank this too. Does he have light up or anything wrong? He does have light up, yeah. So he can do both. Do you right? He can shoot as well. So either way, you should take a shot immediately just to see what happens. I forgot their infantry. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for reminding me. I forgot I had infantry gunners. I, I'm too old to play this training roulette shit without chat helping me. I need my. You guys are like my my elderly walker. I'm gonna get the dice too. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13 dice here for 13 Thin Men remaining. Now I can break loss, right? You got bad picks in your audio beagle? Yeah, people keep saying that. Let me turn it down. Apparently I'm too loud today. Uh, where's, where's the, where's the... Let me go down to, usually I'm three up. Is that better? Do I sound better? Okay, for now. Okay, let me know if I get too quiet, though. Okay, we're gonna steady you. Mm -hmm. Maybe do a regular smoke with Dorn. And take a shot with Spectral? No, I think we wanna get the dense smoke out there. But what are they gonna do? You dense smoke, they're gonna acid you. That's the next step from them. Uh, 
At least this way you can do a regular smoke and shoot one of them and maybe kill one. Shots on chance before you get acid, because once you're acid, you're never getting a shot back again. Okay, maybe maybe we do regular smoke and shoot. So three, five, seven, 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 five, three. Uh, three, five, seven, 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 five, three. No. Three, five, seven, seven. Whoop. Here you go. Destroy. That is a miss. <sighs> Missed. We're gonna save the command, it's probably not the time for it. You just chill there. Hunker didn't. The big money is over here. It's the steady over here will be the, the big moment. The steady rocket is going to be what hopefully gets them. They're all going to cluster and we're going to get them. We've got three drones in the back. More thin men on the right there as well. That's a lot of thin men. Try to keep track of where they are. So one on the door. Where's that one? Don't know where that one went. That one went high, which I don't like. Maybe they're there now? Okay, maybe two on the left oh, side of the door. Temp Thin Man spotted. Three. Four. Oh, fuck you. Ten percent on Spectral. Not acidings, that's probably good. I'm all right. Waste of an action. Yeah, they will, Wolf, they will. Should be a nice rocket coming up, which is going to change things considerably. Yeah, keep clustering, you fuckers. This is what we wanted. We wanted to lure him in and then hit him with the engineers and then the rocket. To be fair, I actually never thought of the rocket, but it's looking like the better and better option here. Here they come. How many is that? Is that all of them? I lost count of how many thin men there even are. There's like one, two, three inside, four. One, two. Three, four, five, six. There's like ten there. There still must be some on the right that I can't see. So, absolutely, I think it's rocket gaming time. That is a nice rocket because there's like some here. It blows up that and they... Uh, yeah, it, this, this is the rocket. This is the rocket right here. Must have been nade range, right? Well, even if it is, I'm going to start with the rocket and then we'll go from there. Why does it sound like the drones are close? They're not. That was well. It does, but that's okay at this point because it helps us kill them. It should be okay. They can't hide advantage from their eyebrow, I don't think. So rocket goes there. Because I know you might want to go here, but there is some inside. Fire! Let's hope for a big turn. Yeah! <laughs> Serega, you are doing it! Very nice! Thin men are a bit easier to BDA because you can see the acid cloud shows you where their bodies are. Looks like we got two straight up just dead there. We have four exposed. That's a massive rocket. So that's just two straight up dead, which leaves us on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we need to just kill them up. Now, unfortunately, the end of zone isn't in place, but Zwei is. Zwei is absolutely in place. Push comes to shove, Zwei can even just um, danger zone those two. Though I don't think you get to shoot both that way, so it doesn't really matter. Send the AP nades. Maybe AP nade, yeah, so we can just kill the most of them. Probably like move up and then smoke if you can reach. You can't reach. You have double tap. Does double tap work with pistols? Yeah. You could pistol double tap here. 54, 44, maybe get both of them. Maybe get neither of them, we'll see. You just AP from this position too. You could run to here and AP. I think if I destroy the cover here of an HE, I could get them. Wonder Wolf says, remember you've already used all your luck this session. Yeah, so this won't blow up their cover then. Ready? 
Oh, I thought I just fixed it, dragon. Sorry. Nice! It's a beautiful day. Light him up. One more down. Nothing's moving down there. Dorn could AP here. We could double AP here to kill three. It depends if we need to. Maybe we'll just maybe we maybe we'll just wipe them all out with shots if we get like reasonably decently lucky. You want to kill those two first is the thing. You want these two here dead. One. Kill confirmed. Two. I probably should have hunkered you actually. Should have hunkered you instead. Too late. Wait, that just happened. So I'm probably going to need a AP grenade here, unless you can also just... I can't see where I want to shoot with you. Probably marksman rifle that one. I need to kill this one. That one's the problem now. No one can get that one. What if you go to here? Yeah, it'll be a shit chance to hit though. It'll be like 59. And there might be more thin men there, so I don't really want to do that. So many grenades. I know I have so many grenades, but they won't reach that thin man on the right, you see. But yeah, I think we need to like AP these two, uh, the, the this lot. Yeah, it's not about wasting the grenades, average. It was just about um corpses, getting more corpses to sell. But in this case, yeah, I'm probably even gonna like step up to here to be even closer. And then Dorn has one too, right? Yeah, Dorn can also chuck one. Maybe chuck Dorn's first and see where that leaves us. Grenade! Oh yeah. Nice! Two more down. Very good. That should leave us on eight now, I think. Unless I miscount? I don't think I miscount. How's Van Dorn, by the way? Uh, we just got him. He's doing alright so far, if that's what you mean. Seems to be doing just fine. Okay, now this position can't be shot by the roof. I would really like to shoot that them in the middle, but it looks like no one can really see them. Which is really awkward. No one can quite get them. Where does Dorn have that voice line from? I think he's like the tutorial soldier before we knew who Dorn was and cared. I'm very tempted to just go here and shoot, but it's like maybe the last mistake you ever make for Bond Smith, so probably can't do it. It just annoys me that one's going to get left alive. It's annoying. I guess you could like run up and try to grenade them or something. I don't know. Or I could command another shot from Zwei, actually. It's probably the best idea. Yeah, that's the best idea. Or... Bondsmither could come and take a shot and get commanded back out. And if it hits, you have to command them. But they have less they have less uh, damage and less chance to hit. So, probably smarter to just go command. Onto Zwei. And hopefully hit this time. Ah. I think that thing is just living this turn. Oh yeah, that, that's what I mean, Kurgosh, yeah. Alright, Spectral, you just shoot here. What's your pistol shot? 66. Go for the marksman rifle. That thin man just gets to live, I think. Anything else I- oh shit. Anything else I do puts too much risk on the rest of the squad to get that one thin man. Unfortunately, we have two grenade you to kill you as well, which uh, extra sucks. But oh well. Incoming. What doesn't suck is we just killed a lot of thin men. Textbook. Worked exactly how we wanted it to work. Now the person in the most danger is Y in half cover. I'm a bit worried about them. A conservative option would have been to command hunker them instead, but I, I did bet on the breaking loss of the 76% light them up there. They're probably going to acid anyway, yeah. 
because they see a cluster. It's the follow-ups, though. It's the other Thimmin in the area, which are really scaring me. The battle scanner kind of helps a lot, though. We kind of know there's none right behind. At least on the sides we scanned. We don't know anything about the right side. That's scary for Zwei. No, you're okay. Excellent. What I kind of fucked up here is I didn't put any engineers on the right. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Oh, the luck. Oh, the big luck. Please keep being lucky, Zwei. Okay, nice. Okay, so we've got... Six, seven Thin Men left, apparently. So half the Thin Men are dead. We see one back there. One, two, three, four, five. So that's like two more Thin Men somewhere out here. Let's get aggro here. Let's get fucking aggressive. Probably, let's heal the Rocketeer and just hurl a rocket out of these fuckers. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to heal up Serega, who is going to get acided again. But that's fine, because before they get acid again... They're just gonna do this. Let's go... Right on the forky lift, I think. Bongo. Bomb. Bomb. Terrific. One down. The forklift survived. The democratic forklift. You're gonna get acid again. Oh, you don't even get acid again for firing while in the cloud. Good for you. Bonus. Wasn't expecting that. You have acid immunity, so I can suppress. Shooting's probably a waste of ammo of you, but I can suppress. Basic souls only have six ammo. Damn. One, two, three, four. There's another one back there? No, we revealed that one just now. Doesn't look like the floaters of drones have got any closer that I can see. So we just want to use the dense smoke now and get our grenades in to place as much as possible. Position confirmed. APs or HEs? APs or HEs? Bring the other soldier over and let's find out. I haven't really got great grenade options here. You could go like a couple of HEs like here, but there's really no guarantee that does anything. There really isn't. Are you going to do two damage in HE4? <laughs> You're probably better off just like APing them down one at a time. So just like double AP on the closest one because they're the scariest. Probably going to have to hunker this gunner anyway, so you probably probably double AP this one before they do something mean. What can you do? You get a shot, do you? Interesting. Oh, what an interesting shot Dorn has. Okay, I can suppress you actually, no problem. Shoot that one. Maybe, maybe... Maybe in that case, HE you to try and get rid of the cover. It might work. Maybe. This cover is kind of flimsy. This cover probably explodes. But then, actually, can I still shoot you? Yeah, I guess you're getting step out right now. I don't know if I'll still have a shot on you. The marksman layer would, though, so it's fine. Directly on top. No, I don't want to blow up my own container crate, so I'm going to be a little bit off. That said, though, I could always just roll an AP and just roll high on an AP and maybe just one-shot them that way. Ah, fuck it. I'm running out of APs. Let's just go like this. Will breaking that cover hurt your flow control of incoming enemies? I think it's, I think it'll be alright, because they can still go to the half-cover forklift if they want, and we're getting through the swarm pretty good now. Caddy's friend says, those barrels are abnormally resistant to environmental. It can go either way. Right, really? I feel like these just pop, usually. But maybe I'm wrong. Either way, I should be able to follow up with an API afterwards if it doesn't work, you'd think. But that means you want to kill this one more, because that one, that one can actually be suppressed. Maybe, instead, suppress that one with Dorn. Go for an HE on this one first. Actually. So go like this. Now that I think of it. Because you can suppress that one, so you can just in, in nullify that one. So we're just going to follow up. 
with a uh, AP or whatever, I think. Yeah, just, just follow an AP, just straight up, just kill him. See, an AP would have killed too. An AP would have killed that thin man. It is what it is. Doesn't matter. You are gonna shoot then suppress that one. Nice shot! God damn! You are gonna dense smoke. Three, five, seven, 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 five, three. Three, five, seven, 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 five, three. Okay, Dorn just doesn't get it. Three, five, seven, seven. You don't get it, Dorn. Dense smoke. Forty-two, why not? Because it's gonna miss, that's what I'm doing. I mean, you couldn't even see them. The fact that that thin man even knew to dodge proves that they're using hacks. Suppression for you. Enemy is hey, Swift, what's up? You're gonna hunker. Well, nah. Yeah, you're gonna hunker. There's two of them. You two are densed, right? Yeah, you two are all densed up. I might have lost track because it says there's five thin men left. Is that does that track? There's one in the fog. If we don't see everyone show up, I might have lost track at some point. They're pushing me. Ah no! My engineers, no one could have seen this coming. Swift says, my daughter told me she pooped out a comment today. What's up with you? I hope you're very proud. That's a big accomplishment. Forklift's gone. Ironically, yes. <laughs> As you should be. Okay, AP for you, bro. Get dunked. See you later. Probably want to swap you out for the medic or something. I don't know. Dorn, what? Oh, I thought I, I, I thought I had Dorn's like that. I was like, what is that angle? Never mind. It's not Dorn. That would have been insane. Okay, I can't really grenade any more of these two. Probably just take another 42 in the dense smoke and like hunker all others. Someone gave Dorn the, the lock one smart rifle. Meet kitty corner shot. You just gotta reload this turn, I think, Dorn. So you are gonna do a 42. Until the engineers are back, we haven't got a lot of options this turn. Big whiffs. Big, big, massive, beautiful whiffs. Once your acid goes away too, we'll have a few more options over here. Reload. So I can take a I'm sure they're aceded. It's not really worth it. Any you on this barrel isn't bad. Yeah, but it hits our forklift too, so I can't do it. No, as long as it goes in dense smoke, it's, it's probably okay to just chill a turn. And hunker down. See if they get a little bit closer, see if the acid goes away. Just see what happens. Worst case, we have the active, like, equivalent of, like, a pod. A natural pod of Thin Men now, so it's not so bad. Place Larry says, being the soldier who misses all the shots is worse than not getting drafted. <laughs> Grandpa in the war, did you suck? It's like the new, don't, don't ask veterans, did you kill anyone? Ask them, hey, did you, like, just miss all your shots? Did you suck? Were you like the worst soldier in your platoon? Uh, 
Lucky, lucky. We're staying lucky out here. Okay, who rolled low on acid? Anyone? No one has rolled low on acid. The acid is gone, though, if I could get them healed, but I don't. Don't have that. Dr. Ryu says that's legit my great-grandpa. Legit your great- what do you mean? You're, like, in the context of the conversation, you're volunteering your great-grandpa as the soldier that sucked in his platoon? Why would you say that? Did you hate him? He worked radios? <laughs> that doesn't mean he sucked. <laughs> like, he says, Grandpa said no, but I served in a platoon who sucked. <laughs> He didn't kill anyone, he was doing radio shit in the back line. No, uh, I, I more meant the part of like, hey, did you suck in the war? Yeah, did he suck at radio? <laughs> the comrade says, my great grandpa was unfit for conscription in the Red Army, if that counts. That's like a unique story. I haven't heard that before. Ready to suck you weapons? You haven't been on Korra. Every time, just go on Korra and start typing in, it'll fucking autocomplete. Like, who's the most the dangerous lethal infantryman? And just 20 people, 20 guys over the age of 40 will cream themselves racing to be the first one to answer, It's this guy with the radio backpack! Because at his disposal, he has all the aircraft and artillery and cruise missiles and drugs. Yeah, okay, we get it. But obviously, the, the question it was asking, who is the most muscly Navy SEAL? And you ruined it. So it says my dad claimed that he went to war and got discharged for sucking, but it wasn't true, so I'm not sure where that lands. You gonna explain that, Swift, or is that- we just like rolling with that now? The comrade says he basically ran a marathon in the woods before his physical and then was throwing up after the first jumping jacks and the doctor said, oh. <laughs> got him. I wanna get some suppression going here. I wanna like suppress two of them and like... I don't know what I'm gonna do about you though. And he stuck out of the country before he came back. And got him. Big brained. <sighs> it's just a bit of a standoff here, you know? I want to get these guys back over here. I want to get them healed. I guess I could, like, just double AP you now. I need some more smoke. Swift says he supposedly told my mom that he was discharged for falling out of a helicopter, but he wasn't even in the military. <laughs> Are they still together? That's like such an egregious lie. Why did he say that? Was this like when they first met or something? Why did he say that? What? What? <laughs> Did he steal that from Tom Clancy? Yeah, well, I want to know why he said that. His story is that it was a joke that she was supposed to realize was a joke. <laughs> do you believe him or do you think that's just him coping after the fact? We're just going to grenade this one. Jesus, Wyvern well, says my dad was evacuated from Granada during the US invasion, but I read that too quickly and I thought it was my dad was executed from Granada during the US invasion. I'm glad that that wasn't the case. It's better this way. But almost fell out of a helicopter on the way out. That one is true. Well, at least he didn't, though. Alright, you're gone. Oh no. I should have smoked first. I didn't think of this. Okay, we're fine. Three, five, seven, 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 five, three, three, five, seven, seven. Smoke. So it says the story was to explain a forehead scar that was actually gotten by falling down while playing badminton. Hang on! One, badminton. Two. Wait, so he, he was saying not only that he fell out of a helicopter and survived, and that's why he wasn't in the military, or he got discharged from the military, but he fell on his head? He had a sc <laughs> He said he had a scar on his forehead from falling out of a helicopter? And your mom believed him, that's funny. 
Danny says IRC. My PE teacher once said that badminton is the deadliest sport. Big if true. Okay, I've got you suppressed. Banjo says I have a scar on my forehead. I'm gonna tell people I got it from falling out of a helicopter from now on. Based. Good for you. Um. I don't understand how this gives you lost, but you you work your magic, Dorn. Okay, buddy. Yeah, sure. I don't know, but go ahead. Pop off. Enemy is okay, and you... I kind of want to fall back to the full cover, I think. So you come here. Wait, I should have checked first. Can you even get the shot? Yeah, so you come to here. Rolling. Perfect! Two well-covered suppressions. Hmm? Is the forklift gonna blow up again? Like, what are you threatening with her thing? Swift says, anyway, he's dead now, so you have to make up your mind on which part of the story is true. Wow, okay. Thanks. Make up your own ending, I guess. Steady the shot. Hunker. And Overwatch. Did the helicopter come and finish the job? Oh my god. We're speaking about Swiss beloved father, who was a known liar and swindler. Why would you why would you say that? Swiss says, oh, so now we don't want story time? Okay then. Hey, it's fine! No, I'm not eating a biscuit wagon. Shut up. It's fine. All our grandparents did things. My grandparents were kind of racist because they were British. You know, it, it all works out. Well, my grandma at least definitely was. Lovely woman. Uh, but definitely like a little bit racist in that colonial way. In that kind of way, we're like... Definitely British. Yeah, like like in that kind of way, we're like, oh, hang on. Do donation. from Oxian. My father convinced my mother early in their relationship that malinating gales castrated themselves after mating, which is why they have such a beautiful bird song. My mother then 20 years later repeated this anecdote at a party was on the sofa while. That's fantastic, I love that. That's terrific. Thank you. Definitely British. No, look, did, did your grandma throw Zulus out of a helicopter or something? No, listen, so it was like... I say my my grandma was like racist, definitely racist in that colonial way because it was like, okay, so we had like this really nice big, you know, table, right? And I'd be like, oh, where'd you get that? Or they did, sorry, they did. And it's like, where'd you get the table? And you know, my grandma would be like, oh yes, you know, we, we when we were in New Guinea, we got that from the natives, you know, and stuff like that. You know, she, British. Very British. Like, like, all, all British. Anglo moment, yeah, like. <laughs> Classic British. Yeah, the real casual stuff, that's right. No way that just Got no ammo. <laughs> they stole that table. Possibly. <laughs> it belongs in New Guinea. Maybe, yes. That might be true. Can't get my grandpa on any of it. Maybe against the Irish, actually, in hindsight. Anyway, they're both dead as well, so it's like it's like a statute of limitations. You can't get them because they're dead. Well, then I can't dunk on the Founding Fathers. But anyway, they're British, you know. Every, well, everybody's grandparents have a thing. Mine were British. That was their thing. Bet your grandma's still salty about the American Revolution. <laughs> yeah, get her. I mean, she's dead. But yeah, get her. Yeah, roast, roast a dead old lady. Or maybe don't. Maybe don't. What is wrong with you? It's not funny. You took it too far. It's not funny. <laughs> it's like the littlest bit. She would have laughed. Anyway. You call my dead father a liar and a swindler? He's at least one of those things. <laughs> Nick Carman says I had a great aunt who called Asia the Orient all the time. Is that kind of being British? Yes. Or um, someone who writes for The Economist in the present day. Uh, I'm really sure they know what to do here. I think I'm just going to keep waiting until these two come back online from acid. 
and just like I'm not gonna shoot, I'm just gonna lock you down with suppression. Enemy is Parker Boy says it's funny when it's John Adams, but it's not funny when it's my grandma. Yeah, exactly. Got it in one. Thanks for understanding. I'm gonna steady, because I think we're good over here. I'm gonna steady. I'm gonna hunker. I'm gonna reload. The only ancestor we don't respect here is John Adams. Oh, we could do better than that. Anybody in here got a worse ancestor than John Adams? Anyone? Anyone know? Blue Lightning says I'm not answering that. Ooh, juicy. Juicy. Anyone here, like, know that they have a relative that, like, is more cancelable? Like, it could be far back. Like, hundreds of years ago. XCOM please dad says, my granddad on dad's side is a wife beater. Well, that's terrible. Um, definitely bad. I was thinking more like a, a fun game we could play where someone's like related to, you know, Mr. Beast or something. Jake Paul. But you know, that, sure. Hang on. Someone had a good one. There. Sorry, I noticed tangents today, but someone had a good one because where was it? I think someone had a good one. I at least read the start of it. Many of us are related to infamously bad people. That's what I was trying to find out. Maybe maybe we're related to the same infinitely bad people. Mr. Beast is my granddad. I had a German engineering professor who may have done this in the 1940s. Okay. Wait. Okay. My great 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 grandfather murdered his wife with an axe. He wrote about it in a journal while he was waiting to be hanged. That's not good. Yeah, that's bad. It relatives that were on the wrong side of the Box Rebellion and the two different Metis Rebellions. My grandfather had several children on the side. You guys have interesting stories. I don't have any of these. I know a guy whose great great whatever uncle was a traitor to the Union during the American Civil War. Oh no! No! Yeah. <laughs> Leon Trotsky is a distant blood cousin. I don't know that guy. We're still looking big. You are! It's interesting! If you go back far enough, some of my illegitimate ancestors are minor British nobility. No, I have you beat on that. I have, like, legitimate minor British nobility ancestors. Pembroke or whatever. Apparently. Trinity shows you, says, My five times great-grandfather helped burn Atlanta in 1864. I don't know American history. Was that a good or a bad thing? What, what was that? I don't know that. Wow, auto mod actually a good kill there. You cannot say that. Even though you're repeating it, you cannot say that. Actual good kill from auto mod there. You can, you cannot repeat that. <laughs> Fucking hell. Apologies, you asked. I, I asked, but it doesn't mean you can just say that in Twitch chat. <laughs> like, we're gonna move on, but... <laughs> Now you know. No, you you shouldn't repeat that. God, that's rare. Automat has a really bad kill ratio. I think that's the sign that we should get on with the game. That's the sign that the tangent is not healthy for us. Let's break loss because I hate the way this fight is going. I don't like it at all. Um, let's bring Serega here because this might be the last thing, man. Actually, I think I might have miscounted. Alasaurus says I'm related to the Russian ability that rebelled against the Tsar for not treating peasants well enough. Wait, so you're related to the rebels who rebelled because they wanted the peasants to be treated better? Isn't that good? That's, you know what, we don't have time to get into that, do we folks? We don't have time to get into that. Um, You come here and reload. Moving. You come here. No, they actually wanted the tr peasants treated worse. <laughs> we want to take power because you're not treating them bad enough. <laughs> You'll say some weird shit sometimes, I swear. 
Um, okay, I need you to come to here. Yeah, you need to be pro peasant. Exactly. We, we, can we, is it that hard to get you to be pro peasant around here? All we want is a little pro peasant. Tony Hawk's pro peasant. Bangs out. Okay, and steady. And here come the. Nope. Good. They're staying away. Oh, but are you pro healabilities then? I mean, if they, if they haven't done anything wrong. Are you are you saying that being a hillbilly is inherently controversial? Oh, get zero zerich for that. Are peasants even a thing anymore in the modern world? Though yes, we are them. In under capitalism, we are the serfs. I'm a pretty fucking upper class surf though, because I just play video games. I don't know how that would I guess Jester, is that how it would equate to back in the day? Alright, you come over here. Affirmative. Eagle is the dancing bear guy. I'm the what? Wait a minute. Never mind. Yes. A, a thing that was likely done in medieval times. Of course. Because you're doing peasants. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. I may have killed all of them in. I think I lost track of one of the kills. I think that's all of them. Anybody got the patience to do a thin man body count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think we're missing one. I think we're actually missing one. One, two, th one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Is that all of them? Fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's all of them, actually. That's fourteen thin men. We're clear. I lost track of them, but we're clear. Nice job, me. I think that worked out. Blue says, why should body count matter, Beagle? Hmm? You know the missions haven't been hard enough today because you've all been too busy trying to fight me instead of the aliens. So now, we've killed all the bot aliens, now we can get on with the rest of the heavy abduction. We happen to know that there is a pack of drones here, I'd like to just shred them, I think. Or... Maybe we could, like... Get the floaters with the shredder, like open on them with the shredder. We can pr remove any sector speaks. Well, there may not be any sectors on the map. We can probably just like move way up to here. So we've been up now, getting ready. The shredder can be held in reserve in case we end up needing it. Right, come here, Bondsmiffer. Benjamin Bondsmiffer. Hang on, you can't call everyone Benjamin. You come here. Um, just an Omicron comes here. Moving to designated position. Wait, what is this another pod and it flanks Van Dorn? No, it's fine. That's not happening. On the move. Reload. We're green Thank you, Den Smoke. I think it was quite useful there, actually. Quite handy. Okay. Steady the Shreddy. Steady the BR. Overwatch. These drones are like barely moving, so we should be able to get some overwatch on them. Like this. Meep, meep, meep. Nice shooting, Tex! Oh, yes. Why? Zwei's name makes sense, too, because I get to shoot twice. Zwei shooter. Dumb thin men pod out there. Floater pod. Okay, let's clean up the drones without having to use any consumables, please. Zero says, I wish we could buy skills for individual enemies. Imagine random 1 of 20 drones of Vortex or 100. Uh, that is technically possible. I can't, I'm not live, but I can prepare you custom leaders. I have the technology. 
We're good. Battle rifle now. Destroyed. Destroy them all. The technology without the courage, not the heart. Yes, Swift, if you couldn't sure. tell, is the one who gave us the technology. Thanks so much, Swift. Does AI need to use skills, though? I mean, it depends what you give them. D drone Vortex probably wouldn't work, no. Drone with light em up? Yes. It reminds me, I can't give him hit and run because I give any any... There, there's no um, natural long war alien that gets hit and run, is there? Because if there is, they're going to break because hit and run breaks with this mod. And they're going to get infinite shots. So that's not good. Yeah, concealment's a fun one. I want to give concealment to someone like Thin Men or something. It does sound fun. Weapons hot. Got it covered. I feel, Commander. Roger. I got my Shotgun Overwatch to hold them back. Swift says it's okay. They don't understand perks like hit and run anyway. Yeah, but even even so, they'll just keep getting actions and keep shooting, right? Banny says, if launch wouldn't bug out, imagine giving me Berserker's launch, that'd be amazing. BAM! Nice shot. BAM! Oh, the floaters are here. Very split floaters. That looked like four of them, I think. Break loss, get ready for some real gun now. Get ready for real gunishment. Kinda wanna fall back to my initial positions. Yes, maybe, possibly. Who's got the smoke? Meh. Just hit. You fucker. No way that just happened. Better. Disabled. Hunker, Overwatch, Hunker, I think. Or fullback scan so I can keep track of them. Oh, is that two floater pods there, perhaps? Interesting. Let's scan here again. I, I liked this scan before, it seemed useful. Though, go inside this time, I think. If I can get it, I can't really get a good one. Like there, that'll do. Man, no, uh, battle scanners are like frisbees. They're really easy to throw. Okay, to be fair, it looks like they shoot them out like a fucking t-shirt cannon, so I take that back. They just really, just really do have arms. You really do have arms on them, you're right. That was a crazy shot. Affirmative. You're gonna fall back a bit. On my way. You're gonna cover the medic, who I just shouldn't have shot with, but I kinda had a fuck it moment. And I kind of went fuck it. Oh, they're all crumbing now. Oh fuck! They've all decided it's time to go time. Nice shot, but no kill. Four floaters, three thin men. Oh yuck! That doesn't look happy. I just killed all these guys. Now there's more of them. And another floater pod. This could go very badly. Okay, luckily that pod of four floaters is gonna fuck off. It might only be three floaters and I just saw one of them move. I'm not sure. Shred on the right. Could be, I can't hit the shred on the right, unfortunately. I could line it up, though. I right, in the zone, but you know how that goes, potentially. Better to just shoot and back off of you, I think. Or danger zone. Ooh, danger zone suppress them and then go for a flank. Dun, 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 dun. Can I get dense smoke over here, please? Kind of. The answer is kind of yes. I could like run to here and smoke it over. 
Maybe go for the ITZ here, and if it doesn't work, get Den smoked. And if it does, it does. And I'll just run Brenchar here. No, I can't. I'll run the Rocketeer here. To flank instead. You want to kill that floater right away. Okay, fuck it. Let's do it. Failure. Massive failure. You are you are massive failed. Well, I can't dangerous on you now anyway, so just get then smoked, I guess. Yeah, true, true also, Banny, true also. Kill this one if we can, please. Oh dear. Having a time of it, aren't we? That's better. Hello, big warriors. Hello, subject. Okay, line up the shredder. Come over here and get ready to move up in grenade when they move up on me to here, maybe perhaps. Just stay here and get ready. We'll move to there afterwards. Spectral! In a bit of danger yourself if I do this. Dorn's gonna move up with you and cover you. Or Jess and Alma Cotton. But I do need dense smoke over there. So, move it up. Moving to position. Hey, Yukur, thanks for the rate of seven. Three, five, seven, 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 five, three. Three, five, seven, 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 five, three. Three, five, seven, seven. Right there. You couldn't have cancelable answers to bring up, that's too bad. I guess I'll have to move on from that bit now, that's too bad. Oh well. You come here! And you actually don't have anywhere really good to go, you should come to here in Overwatch. Don't love the look of this turn, but let's hope the next one doesn't look too dead for us. I think that scout's in a dangerous spot. We're obviously gonna get acid here in the smoke too, which sucks. At least they can't get both of one. You can still suppress once I reload you. So you are always gonna be offline this turn anyway. More for to get the floater, I think. Probably a shred right up the, the gut of that Thin Man pod there. Absolutely banned it, it would have to. Shooting us. Shooting Lieutenant Jesse. Don't hurt. Ow! That hurts a lot. Is the floater gonna follow up and kill you? <gasps> oh, we're down. We got a down, baby. On the lieutenant, too, so you're gonna lose Will. <laughs> never mind losing the soldier, which isn't good. Eh, well, I should never have shot with the medic, really. I should have played conservative and fallen back. Time. They're not dead yet. I got revived. I need to get the medic to them. So you gotta come over now. Meanwhile, you need to do a lot of work this turn, I think, Rook. It's here to cover us. Because this ain't going good. This ain't going good at all. Slam into a shred gym over here. Yeah, I think he still has a switch. Get that thin man? Nope. No Thin Man kill for me. They got any Overwatch going? Yeah, one at the back. Well, we just lost the, the Scout, unfortunately. But I think they're too far away to really threaten. I don't think it can stop from getting to here. That's fucking acid now, though. Shit. Shit! You might just have to get these two, but then who's gonna cover you from- Oh, fuck. Hang on. Hang on, I got bigger problems. I can't get the medic over to you yet. Oh no, it was the engineer that went down, not the scout. So the scout can move up to this position I prepared earlier now. It is all kind of going downhill though. But I can get you to here. 
That might be too close to effectively engage you, I'm not certain. Doran's gotta move up. Closing on target. And get shooting. Get shooting tootin'. Or get suppressing. Does that get you running the overwatch? It should do, yeah. Okay, so you come run the overwatch to here. Thank you. So we can get the medic over. Whoa! Imagine a normal mission being a real threat. Well, it's also because you're a normal mission and you've used consumables, you've used rockets, etc. So it's a bit of both, actually, when you think about it. Have you tried the new slides now? update briefly. Briefly, yeah. Maybe I should shoot first. Uh, I should probably go for the revive immediately. What do you think of it, Swift? What do you think of it yourself? The music is shockingly good. Yeah, I think the music's cute. I like it. I do like that. Well, I can't move up there if I get an acid. So I just have to sit here. Probably take just take a shotgun shot from here. This turn. Or... I could, like, HE them, but that doesn't seem good. Use of my time. Let's go shotgun shot. Nice fucking shot. Goodness me. This one on the side can flank us, it's a little scary. They can get to this lamp pole and I actually don't have them flanked with the way I'm gonna move and then they're gonna have me flanked. Instead, a bit worrying if I leave this position. Though, I can move Zwei here and reload, but then they'll just flank Zwei, right? A bit scary. Just don't even have other targets, just suppress. He, Dorn can't see them. I would, I would, but Dorn can't see them. So Dorn's gonna end up suppressing, like, that thin man, probably. They're in dense smoke, worst case, so they probably won't get flanked. I think you've got to run over no matter what. You come over here. Got it. Moving. Get that revive going next turn, hopefully. You've just got to take a shot, I think. Forty percent there, or forty-two percent. Take the forty-two because you might not need a pistol more, actually. Um, I think I would rather kill the Thin Men. I think with the Acid, they're scarier to me right now. So probably try to gat the back one with the Marksman Rifle. Come on, time to hit. Damn it. You're gonna move here into the dense smoke. You're gonna reload. And you, shooter suppress, shooter suppress. I'm running out of people to kill with. Maybe I should just. But you're acided. Fuck. I need. I need to pull threat. I think. I need to pull threat on me. Who goes first? Is it the floaters or the thin men? It was the. Th it was the thin men went first, and then the floater because the floater finished off and down. So I need to suppress the thin men. Which means it's not necessarily based on when they activated, because they didn't activate in that order. Nice, get fucked. Now that acid needs to clear and I can get an engineer grenade in this coming turn. Hopefully no one else dies, but it's definitely possible here. They're trying to free up that thin man. Suck on these ones. Secundus dick hole. Oh my god! Shit. Please, please, no, not immediately! Woo, oh, fuck! Don't let me, oh, fuck. That was always a danger being moved up. 
I just got Dawn. Don't let me immediately lose him. Okay, probably to here. I gotta get rid of you. I gotta deal with you, I mean. Not get rid of I gotta deal with you. I gotta get grenades going. Okay. Suppress here. Grenade either goes... Don't move you because you activate. Grenade either goes here or here. Depends how far you can get it. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You get an HE that might kill the floater and take some cover out, or you could just HE these ones and get a follow up kill. Probably the smarter grenade. One of them is a free flank, which is why I wanted to do anything else, but. This should kill and probably gets me a follow up. And I suppress the Arborids. Hut! We need to kill a lot of them. We haven't got the stamina to last in this engagement too much longer. Beautiful work. Well done. Now we still got the acid, but... Wait, it didn't kill that one. Fuck. Not beautiful work, actually. Fucking annoying. Annoyingly not beautiful work. I'd love to go for the shot, but it's more important to get the revive first, I think, onto just Nomicon. You're good to go. Back up. Who's gonna do me some work here? Who's gonna do me some work? You're gonna shoot one of them. Nice. Right. They're sharing cover. I guess? I don't know how that works. I'm probably gonna fold them back anyway, to be honest. What is double tap? That engineer I just revived has double tap. 69. Light him up. Blast those motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. I'm concerned even a step out here could activate, honestly. It kind of makes me not even want to shoot with Spectral. These fuckers are about to activate no matter what I do, too, which is terrifying. I would probably just hunker this scout or steady them, at worst case. They'll probably miss anyway, let's be real. <laughs> you two kind of just have to back the fuck off. Because you're fucked. And then we just, like, see how many we can danger zone suppress with you, I guess. Anyone know if Danger Zone, um, works downwards? Like, if I Danger Zone the floater, will I get the- both of them, do you think? I don't think Danger Zone has that many tiles range anyway, so the floater is like the best bet regardless. You're probably gonna like, Overwatch actually. It will? Well, let's find out. Nice. That's good, that's two of them locked down, and I need to get you out of there, because you're just in too much danger. You gotta back the fuck off. So does Jessonomicon, though. Well, Jess is gonna heal... Th Jess is gonna heal a bunch, Jess took a lot of damage, we'll see how much Jess heals. I'm gonna run you back. So maybe shoot first, then run. Yeah, shoot that one, then run back. Doesn't repair everyone the heal to return? Yeah, true. But I can still hunker here, because I just can't get away at the moment is the problem. And then you just overwatch, okay? So like I said, you're gonna overwatch. Do it first, see if it does anything. It doesn't, good. You light him up and reposition. Too bad. And door never hit again after he got shot. It rattled him. You have fucked up tile shit going on there. Let me just fix it. Fucked up tileitis. Um, you just hunker, I guess. Because there's nowhere better you can go to anyway. Oh, 
At least he'll heal two more if he's about at the end of this turn. Nice! Let's go Zwei! Do you want a lot of carrying this mission? The only good news is I think that floater pod should be the last one at least. Last pod on the map that is, 29%. I'd love you if you hit it right now. <gasps> oh my god. That was so unexpected. My pitfall noise didn't work. Nice hit. One, two, three, four. That's a grenade target and a fucking harf. That is a fucking grenade target there, I think. You need to move up and get on that shit. Shouldn't get floated right? I don't think so. No, wait. That one right there. Look out. I almost clicked. I almost clicked. Oh my god. We have a shot and another suppression here. Might just do another suppression and shoot and reload next turn. Probably just suppress these two again while grenading these three. It's Woman's History Month. Show me that woman. Is it Woman's History Month? The rock would be nice. Yeah, we used them all, unfortunately. Maybe I should have saved it from before. Do we have any more smoke? Because you're not going to last much longer like this. No, we're out of smoke. Maybe we should fall, but then I don't get the grenade you. No, I want to stay because I want to grenade you fuckers. I'm getting that fucking grenade. Should do this. Because I'm getting that fucking grenade. That's the only way I'm going to survive this. You gonna move on the fuck up. You are suppressed again, correct? Correct. Free grenade. That grenade is how I survived this mission, I think, Swift. Hello, hello! Maybe. Oh, fuck. Did I suppress the Thimmin or the Floater? I might have done this wrong. You know what I mean? I might have... The suppression on the Thin Man is going to end if I kill the floater, right? I should have suppressed the Thin Man! My brain is tiny! Because now when I kill the floater, I won't have suppression left on the Thin Man! I'm a stupid fucker! Damn, I'm a stupid fucker! Damn! I can bring Jess up and go for another grenade. I could double grenade. Just don't kill floater, but I want to kill the floater. Because I need them to die. Unless I double HE, perhaps. And then just my die die. But I can heal the medic so you don't die die, potentially. But then you will hit the top of it. It will if I go like this. Not an HE, though, no. Maybe it's double HE time, yeah. I gotta do single HE first to know. Probably do a heal for them, then run them up and grenade. And then start healing Dorn next. Okay. Let's heal you up. Don't move. You'll be fine. I want to fall you back, Spectral, so you don't get acid, but there's nowhere to go, yeah? No, we're good. I'm just worried that, like... Adekob, thank you for the rate of 57. There's so many people rating me today. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. I'm just kind of worried about getting Overwatch, but I don't see them, so they're probably not there. It's probably That's fine. Probably Everything's it. fine. Don't overthink things. Ah, I should have overthought it. Please don't hit. Well, that's my penance. I should have run the scout Oops, away. I just wanted to get the scout shot too. You know what, Jess? At this point, is what it is for you. We need this grenade. It's so over for Jess, I'm afraid. But we need this grenade. Thank you for the raid. Adekob, I appreciate it. Good heal. Well, that, that is why I healed, in case that happened, yes. Okay, the HE has to be like this. I should have run the scout somewhere else first, I guess. It's just awkward positioning, though. She'll get two back at the end of this turn, at least, right? Oh, she's only got one repaired servo charge left? Because she already took damage, I think? I don't know, she might not heal much then. I think her repair servo is all consumed now. Either way, you need to kill floaters, or you're definitely going to die. 
So, sorry Jess, you gotta keep, keep it going here. I'm just trying to get that little scrap pixel of damage on the Thin Man I saw. I know it's real because I've seen it. I guess it's not real. I thought I saw a scrap of damage on the Thin Man. Yeah, like that. You never know when that might do it. Fanny says, I think running Overwatch is super bugged they didn't fill out the repairs over it too. You're supposed to go seven charges there. I would have thought so, yeah. Not in the floor. I'm not trying to. I'm trying not to on purpose because of stupidity from my part. Okay, one of them is just dead. That's promising. HE again. I wish I'd never smoke for you, Jess, but it's just letting it all hang out now, I'm afraid. We're just letting it all hang out. Who's got a shot? You've got shot. You've got shot. Okay. You can't AP that Thin Man, right? No, you can't. But you could just AP these two. Maybe kill him. Probably not. Better just go for an HE and follow up AP next time, I think. We're probably going to lose another soldier, but that is how it goes. This time, I think. Uh, at least we have an AP for next turn, but not ideal. Maybe we can run anyways. Danger zone doesn't work like that. That's not what we're trying to accomplish. You misunderstand! Probably gonna lose another soldier, but that's just how it goes. Zukov 1943. <laughs> I think Dorne's gonna come back. Don't suppress, because that'll get him shot, but... Pori's gonna put it all, all on the line here. Including Dorn. There's no time for anyone to sit this one out, you know? Closing on Gotta get in there! Gotta kill! Yeah! Nothing's moving down there. Please don't kill Dorn. That's right, Bounty. If someone's gonna die anyway, put more meat in the front lines, hope they can't kill them all. Exactly. That's how you do it. Exactly. 72 on you. Or pistol for 65. Okay. Go for the best possible chance to kill, most likely. But before that, let's see if the rifle can do it, and then we can spend that extra damage on someone more uh, exciting. Solutions. Go, go. Big misses. And this is the shot you stayed in place for, Spectral. You're the reason Jess is so low. Please, Dolph, for fuck's sake! What is it with Marksman Rifle Scouts now? We had like one good one. We had like two good ones. At least that the man runs off, so they've retreated. You're suppressed, thank goodness. Which means, hopefully, you're gonna draw more fire into the suppressor, if I'm lucky, so that Dorn and Jess and Omicron don't die. Ah, Flaunch? Okay. A little bit of a flaunch there. Interesting, different. Does Zwei have anything left? Zwei has nothing left. Floater. Well, not necessarily. They've got a bit of health on them. It's actually a bit scarier than it looks there, I think, folks. It's a bit scarier than it might look. I want to AP these two this turn if I can get it. I gotta run the Overwatch with Spectral. Spooky Spectral. Uh, let's run it to here, okay? Just just run the overwatch immediately before anyone makes any big mistakes. Oh my god! Well, that happens! That does happen. I mean, at least she didn't insta-die. You can't be too mad. Special deserve that for missing so many shots. You're so mean. I mean, we're gonna go in here. What are you gonna do? Not go in? Just go the fuck in. Sir. Don't stop. Make it pop. DJ, blow my speakers up. Yeah! On me. 
Now Dorn is in a lot of danger there. If they recognize it, they can step forward. They can probably get him, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I reckon that one can get me. That's fucking frightening. Dorn is in danger. Dorn is in capital D danger. Where's that fucking follow up AP? You've got it. Get these two if we can. He's in Dornger. Uh, an XCOM hero could be about to die. Please, show some respect. I want to get both of you fuckers. I don't think I can. Is there like a little knob I can go on or something? I can't get them both. This sucks. Because then this floater can also get Dorn. Hey chat, B needs a little knob, who's got it? <laughs> okay, I think you gotta go forward, just Nomicon. Wait a minute though, is there even more fuckers ahead? Who knows? I was gonna say run the Overwatch, but with who? Aquaman? You got double tap at least, you could go for like double pistol shots. Right? Swift, double tap works with pistols, right? Well, maybe I just run up to here and shotgun. Maybe you just hit, maybe you just hit, it doesn't even matter. Fuck. Keep advancing, we have to kill them. I have never scout, I have never lightning, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going, kill, kill, kill. Yeah! Because I need some overwatch left after this too. Kill that thin man! Get on AP! Minimum three damage, come on. Yeah, I forgot Rocketeer is scout number two. Boom! You've got to overwatch and keep the floater back. You've got to overwatch and keep the floater- Oh no, you might get shot. You can't overwatch. No, you'll repair servos healed too at the end of the turn. So you, um, you're, you're as likely to die then as they are. So you both overwatch. You need to come over, though. No, fuck. Okay, reload. That's one heal, not two. Oh. 35 defense, 29 defense. Yeah, you shouldn't overwatch then. You should do anything but overwatch. You should, like, if you're gonna overwatch, like, do it from back here. So if they push for door and it happens anyway. So you come back here. That's affirmative. You come here and you overwatch from there. It's one charge per damage taken, you heal half, right. Looks like it did do more than I think Bounty because we healed more than it- It said one, but we healed more clearly. Do floaters care about shotgun overwatch more than pistol overwatch? I feel like this is like a Frag's finest question. I feel like that's what killed Frag. Here, overwatch. You'll care about that one at least. Pistol or shotgun overwatch? Is it new campaign time? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I think we've broken the storm here. We just have to see how many people die. Let's try the pistol. Nice pair of servos. Live or die, your pair of servos has been pretty important too for them. Don't crit! Ow! Fuck you. Okay, lightning reflex is number two, let's move up. Howdy, howdy, howdy. We can suppress you. Oh god, we have to do like an open... We have to do like an in the open revive here, perhaps? Maybe, can I get it from here? I don't know, I feel like sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, depends where the body is. If I don't want to risk it, I have to move into the open, I think. 
Which means we just gotta push up and overwatch and shit. That hasn't got a shot, but it's got overwatch, right? Oh no, it's got a shot, but on the wrong person. Is that an awful spot? Yeah, how did they... Oh, because they were a scout, that's right. Yeah, I remember now. Oh, fuck. I need to suppress you, but I need to keep you back, too. I'm just going to suppress you and hold the thin man back. I'm on it, Commander. Suppress you. Unfortunately, we'll overwatch on you. The shotgun might keep you back. We're pretty close. It might convince you to stay back. That is well within the healing ring. So if I go here... Is that exposed to the floater? I can't see. I can't tell. If I go... If I go here, I think it's less likely I get shot by the Thin Man because of blockages. Yeah, and the Kevin Nicodemus says it's not, it's not flanked, so it should be safe. It should be, but why isn't it? Because there's a pillar in the way, that's why. I mean, there's nowhere better to go. Right? As long as I can get the revive. And then Dorn. Okay, you're gonna move up to here. You're gonna move up to here. Okay, launch the suppression immediately. Roger that. Move into position. Yup. Revive. This is your job, medics. Your job is to revive. Spectral's back, baby! Scouts are good again. Oh god, hide. Headed there now. What the fuck? A ghost, yeah. Live or die. Bond Smith for the medic has already saved two people's lives. They're, they're doing a good job out here. Come up and add to the Overwatch. Heading to that location. Wait, no, because... No, you're suppressed. It's fine. You're suppressed. It should be fine. No, you could move up, but if you move up, we've got bigger problems, so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. In motion. Come to here and overwatch as well. We have eyes on the target. Swift says, can't wait for a mission where you have to revive the same person three plus times. I don't think you can, right? I'm pretty sure you only get to bleed out once as an XCOM soldier. I think if you've been bled out in a mission, you have to get back up. That's what I think. Okay, you're going to overwatch like that. You're going to overwatch like that. And we're going to pray this works. Oh, good, they're staying in place, thank god. Just let me get back to cover, Jake. Nice. Okay, very, 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 very good. I believe this is the last of the enemy. So I'm willing to step up here and shotgun. 78. Kill that motherfucker, Brenchar. Very good. Now we can go to here. Get the suppression on you. You are acid fucked. We got a lot of fucky going on here. I need to get Jesse, I think, healed up and then pushing forward as well. So we can take that Thin Min out next turn. Motion track for me. I don't see anyone else. Do a suppression because you might get their cover. Come on. Held cans are notoriously fragile. You're gonna stay there. Dorn, come up to here. Roger that. Come here, heal up you. Yeah, that's what I mean about healing servers, Carbon. They're useful. They're useful shit. Tip top now, ready to go. 
I reckon I'm going to go all the way. Go, Jess, go. She's the bionic engineer. She's back in the fight. Heading to that location. Ready to engage. Bangs out. Okay. Again, shoot and suppress? No, just suppress. Just now, I'm going to eat almost 20 damage this mission. Is that true? Holy shit, that's a lot. Jess, also the one with the flank here. Moving to position. You're terminated, motherfucker. All mission objectives completed. Mm -mm. Is that our third mission or our second mission today? Might be our second. I might have taken a long time on these missions today. That was a good mission, though. New <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Oxid. Congratulations, Commander Shame, about the meld trenta mila cento venti dollari. That was a fun one. That's why we play XCOM Kitchen. That's so fun. In hindsight, because we won, it was fun everywhere. It was a good mission everywhere, but it's extra fun because we carried. Oxid, thank you for the two dollar donation. I appreciate it. So if so, this is the rare campaign where regen biofields might be good. Yeah, also because of training roulette, all the soldiers roll like obscene amounts of health, not armor. So regen would be even better, yeah. That was a good one. I think we obviously would not have won that if we hadn't aced the first half so good. And the fact that I think we played it really far back, really cheesed them out with loss, lured them into the explosives trap, and took them out without any like major losses or HP wounds. Those first 14 thin men was pretty important. Because the second half of the mission was even harder. Especially because we liked the rocket at that point. Yeah, they'll, they'll be out for a while. But they're alive, and that's what counts. Hmm. I like that on Dorne. If we are still in this campaign in 43 days, I'm probably going to make Dorne a revive. Because that is an incredible amount of shit. Because Dorne, I always say flexibility with training roulette plus with these squads is important because you never know what kitchen's going to buy against you. That makes Dorne a gunner suppressor, light him up for, so infantry, and reviving as a medic. So Dorne can be three rolls in one slot. Pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good. Also, I think Dorne gets steadfast for free, right? So yeah, that's also one as well. Wasn't Dorn also this last campaign? Dorn had a bunch of crazy shit last time. Dorn's gonna get every class himself, that'd be great. He needs to roll Fire Rocket, Grenadier, Squad Sights, and Lightning Reflexes. Nova Zwei, who did a lot of carrying there. <laughs> lightning? A little lightning for you, sir? Hmm. Interesting. Everybody watched the scout go down and was like, yeah, we need to have a backup for that shit. Hmm. A lightning... Light him up suppression gunner. You are never going to be an amazing damage dealer, clearly. You're going to be quite generalist as well. You could go shock absorbent. Your HP isn't bad. But it's not really the main thing I would pick for a gunner. Covering fire suppression is good. It's not covering fire, it's ATA. Does this work when you're suppressing? This could be huge if it works when you're suppressing. But it's just for when you're overwatching, I think, unfortunately. Wait, he gets three flashbangs? Yeah, Shock Resorbent gets two free flashbangs now. If this worked for suppression, it would be a pretty good pick, but it doesn't because it's Overwatch. Successful attack is 50% chance of being a little, uh... Confers, flash 15 defense for Overwatch. You do get half a point of DR at all times, but it's just not, without the Overwatch, not really worth it. I'd say, um, Lightning. Yeah, because they're, they're, they're a backline midliner, they're light them up. So Shock Absorber doesn't really work for them in both cases, because Flashbang's also close quarters. It's probably going to end up being Lightning. Everything by None of those are amazing for the build, but Lightning is always good to have. Ew, Shredder, very likely picked up here on this Rocketeer. Pretty sure. Bond Smiffer, the hero medic. Never hit anything with that damn battle rifle. Does get to pick from Mayhem, Shredder, or Smart, though. Unfortunately, medics can't take, um, marksman rifles, otherwise, boom, but... Well, I mean, if Shredder works, you'd want Shredder. It doesn't come up with lightning, uh, within the zone at all. 
But if Shredder works with primaries, we'd want that. I mean, mainly ITZ. It doesn't work with... Uh, I don't think it gives plus one or even to this gun. It's only for saws and long rifles. You know what the medic broke in a medic? It's macrophages. It's a different thing. Macrophages is also a good choice, though. But Shredder is goaded if it works. Once it works, Shredder is just goaded to have in the squad. Shredder doesn't do much even if they can't hit. Well, I would take a carbine on them with Shredder, I think. Okay. Very pleased you all survived. Well done, everyone. It was a hard fought mission. It was close. Repair servos in the end, I think, was very vindicated. I think it did well. In touch, Commander. We got beam coming. I have money now. Flesh and metal troubles me. What do we risk with our own investigations into the melding of humans? Yeah, it is subject. It is. Yeah. Will we see a line in the Unfortunately. sand and refuse to cross it, or will we move forward, willing to sacrifice everything for the sake of total victory? I have to believe that not is enough. not our future. Provided, of course, that the alien's technology remains in the right hands. So, we have a bit of a crossroads here. Hang on, that's 60 bucks or so. We have a bit of a crossroads here. We have $200, and we can either spend that on company officer's upgrade or a laboratory. Company officer's upgrade will increase the VR training rate by probably like plus 2 XP a day, if I remember correctly. Lab is obvious. Gets you a laboratory, gets you faster science. So it's do we increase our research and gear or increase our soldier auto training? More VR lessons of soldiers. Well, we for we didn't lose them, but I know what you mean. Yeah, they, they're out for a while. Yeah, we don't we don't have a lot of unwounded soldiers. Yeah, by plane. Yeah, I also need money for plane. Swift is also right. I probably just needed to buy another plane. I really want the damn labs though. Probably get labs because you can cancel the lab if you need an interceptor really bad. Don't feel good though. We might need another plane straight up. I want to get my damn labs going, I don't have enough money. Yeah, planes aren't instant, that's a problem. We probably need another plane as much as I hate it. Fucking things. We probably need to get like some stingrays ready too. For the inevitable fighters incoming. How many planes do you even have? This many. This is how many planes I have. I swear to god, if he like chastises me for having this many planes, I'm gonna fucking mine god. Yeah, you know what, Swift? This is all the money I have! I don't have any money for any other shit. Now I told you this when I said I didn't want to go to two continents yet. No, oh, it's fine. There's no more UFOs than normal. This is all I can fucking afford. And I don't even get to do satellites in April because I didn't get missions to, to or engineers to build the second uplink. So I don't even get the NA bonus yet. Just take it alone. That's what I think of that shit. <laughs> Nothing else I can really do there, though. I need money, man. I needed that shoot. I needed that UFO that exploded midair to be a shoot down. You got the speaks. I got it. I got it, Soviet. I'm fine, thank you. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm not going to even afford beam lasers. Let alone labs. That's the crazy thing here. Oh God, I need that, but I need. Ugh. Fuck. I need money! Please, somebody, like, offer me money for anything. For literally anything. It's the 15th of April. Oh my god. We're just, like, bypassing. <laughs> April! Ah, uh, Swift was right. I need alien materials research. That's next. 
which is four Illyrium, four alloys, five fragments, which is fine because I'm not about to have enough weapon fragments to even do e warfare. Four Illyrium, four alloys, five weapon fragments, one meld. Okay. That's good, but I... Now well, we're just gonna sell everything to afford them. So I think Swift is right that we have to go early materials just to get money at this point. Because trying to buy more shit, it turns out you just get no money early on. Like, money is so free later on, but right now we have none of it. So let's get alien mats, and then we can take, like, requests for Illyrium and alloys that are more beneficial, I guess. I wanted to go into E-Warfare now, get the foundry going, and get Thin Man Makers early this time. Because we got them in, like, September last campaign, but it's not to be. So, alien mats it is, I guess. The new engineers I actually need money for lasers. We're always glad to have more help down here. Oh, golly, gumdrops. Yeah, probably should have gone alien mats after Swift, you're right. I'm not used to wanting to trade alloys away like that, but I've never gone this hard on the strategy game to need this much money this early before. Only one mission in 18 days is also real unlucky. It's not great. No, it's not ideal. It means we're also going to get them all probably glutted together in a second. How many of these do I need to keep for Thin Man uh, medkits? I can't even get them yet, but... It's not like tw something stupid like 20, is it? It's 20, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's fucking... <laughs> Alright, I don't, I don't care. I don't even care. I'm gonna sell all that. I'm gonna sell all that. I'm gonna sell all these. I'm gonna sell these. I don't think I can sell any Thin Man corpses, but I'm probably gonna have to anyway. Just sell all of that bullshit. Be draining the Thin enough? Maybe. I was thinking, like, what if chat doesn't buy them, but I forgot it's in April, so they'll just spawn naturally. So even if chat never buys Thin Man again, we'll come back to it. Hang on. Zero says you're gonna get a heavy $200 mission in 12 hours. Probably, buddy. Probably. One more laser rifle, perhaps. The continuous laser rifle. Sell meld? No, that's the one thing you cannot sell in this campaign. Money, money, money. Hello? 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 Commander, the council is requesting <laughs> attention. Secure transmission coming in now. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> it just skip April. Yeah. $241. Oh, but it's a fucking bomb mission. But it's only seven bot aliens bomb mission, so I can do it. I get $241. You can see how badly I need this money. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. At least the gamers are back. I mean, somebody just level up again. Oh, hit and run, good sir. Oh, absorption fields. Oh my god, you could have absorption fields in 9 health. It's a real thing we could do, and you could pair that with Sprinter to offset the mobility. Or you could get Hit and Run, which is just goaded all the time. Ah, oh, it's such a good combo. You have so much fucking health. You have so much fucking health, and you'd get two more and absorption. You would be so strong. And, ah. Uh, but hit and run, I'm worried I'm not taking enough offensive perks. But well, oh my fucking god! You would be so strong at not dying. If you live to carapids, you might be invulnerable.
It's such a perfect absorption fields though. Such a perfect way to get absorption fields. You promise you take offensive perks? I promised a lot of shit. It's fucking tax ends too. They just do whatever you want with them. But tax ends means no shoot up. But then you just run up. I don't know. We'll see. Anybody else level again? Oh yeah, consumer rocketeer. Nice. Interesting. Jet boot mobility combos with concealment well. VPT is good in general, obviously. Plus two damage of base is a lot once you get autopsies done. Gonna do no. Probably concealment VPT, even though I want to take the jet boot. Who else got to level up? You? Did I already know I had a- Oh, that's right! This is the one that's gonna make me cry because it's between Collateral and Hit and Run. And I'm gonna take Collateral. Collateral... Bring him on! Oh, Hit and Run, bring him on! Fuck! No! Oh, shit! But Collateral's so fucking good, I don't have it yet. But I really do lack damage in my roster right now. Hit and run, bring him on. This motherfucker. This motherfucker. This motherfucker. Could be killing a lot of fuckers at squad site range. He can be marksman rifle guy. He could also just be a normal sniper rifle guy. Probably marksman though. Collateral sniper isn't great because Collateral requires full ammo. Remember, I have a way around that. Is you disc killer? Yeah. I guess other people will roll collat. I do lack good damage right now. But collat is just like it gives you it gives you so much utility. It gives you so much fucking utility. Like that even every mission, every mission I've been on this campaign, in any campaign to be easier of collateral. That last mission, easier, because I can like make fun little like bunkers out of the out of the shit. Ah, oh, man, that's just such a hard fucking choice. Why make me choose? We have Shark Apologist here, who we don't have to cancel, thank God. And Dr. Danger, I want to see what both their perks are. I don't know what I want to class them as yet. Probably a Rocketeer and a, a Gunner each, right? I have two Rocketeers ready. My Gunner is out for 31 days, so you at least need to have one more Gunner, most likely. Miz Boost's Collateral is a luxury, you need damage. <sighs> collateral doesn't help against shit like Discs and Mectoids, but it is like checkmate against all cover using aliens. It's insane. Plus, it does help against any situation because you can map edit for your own team. Uh, it's so- it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. I'm probably not gonna make the choice now because this is gonna be tomorrow's mission anyway. Someone else, get it. Someone else could also roll hit and run and, and a, a damage perk. But this sniper has to be the one taking advantage of the collateral, not the one colliding. Ideally, but I would just take that sniper as the collateral. I, I agree, it's the worst class to get collateral on bounty. And it's also, unless they can do it at squads that way, it wouldn't work. And it's also like the best class to get like hit and run BO on there too, but. Oh man, I just. Collat on its own though, like the fact that we don't have it in the roster. We just really need it. We really need someone to have it, I feel like. Token says, uh, or Torrent says, you're gonna get other people with Collat. How likely are you to get another sniper with Hit and Run? Well, I mean, that's the thing. It's just two perks together compared to one perk. But I guess, yeah, like, you could get Collat in other classes, whereas it's a sniper of Hit and Run, which you'd have to roll it on the sniper specifically. Alright. I just want to see what these guys perks are before I end the day. We're not going to play this mission today. This is tomorrow's bomb mission. Can you get the same perk twice? No. Maybe one of these two will roll collapse. 
So one of you is a rocketeer, one of you is a gunner. The gunner between you two is the one with the lower aim, in my opinion. Though you could also argue the one with the higher health. Ah, eh, fuck it. Dr. Danger, you're gonna be a... gunner. Dense Smoke, Sapper. Zero says, if I win Raffle, I roll Collat, trust me. Okay, I trust you, bro. Dense Smoke, Sapper, or VPT. Probably a pretty easy Dense Smoke pick up there. Good, there's a lot more Dense Smoke showing up. It's like been the, the theme of the campaign so far. You Apologists are gonna go Rocket. Repair Servos, Covering Fire, Steadfast. Oh boy. You really brought all of the fun Lance Corporal perks, didn't you? You rolled a health as well, so probably Repair Servos again for, for the reasons we saw. You're a bit of a tankier one, especially with that minus defense. Banny says, Saffron Gunner makes your suppression just destroy cover lol. Does it actually, or do you just think it does? Because I've, I've wondered the same. I've wondered the same thing, if it works, Bounty. These guys need to switch classes and keep each other's perks. Yeah, I know. It's too bad. Steadfast to avoid panicking the Rocketeer. It doesn't stop side panic on them, though, so it's less good. That's why I want to take repair servers instead here. New campaign. This one's, uh, like, a couple weeks old. Welcome. No gangbusters perks there, nothing amazing. Alright. Either way... Hmm, at least my mm, infirmary's cleared, except for the ones in the last mission. That's just all the ones who got hit in the last mission. April's been an epic month, oh, it sure has. Either way, that's it for April. Uh, today I mean. Whoops, dementia brain. Uh, that's it for today I mean. I'll be back tomorrow for the bomb mission and maybe another one or two after that. See how the bomb mission goes. Uh, we need that goddamn money. Hey, we're like almost through April. Fuck, I... Damn it, it's the 24th of April. It means I have to get the fucking May menu ready for tomorrow. God, I hate doing work. Anyway, thanks for coming. Appreciate the big orders today. Um, let me do my credits. Let me thank my Twitch subs. Let me raid someone. I'll be back tomorrow. Time flew because I took a long time on those missions. Sorry. Did I do two today or three? I feel like I had two really easy ones. No. I think just the first half of the second mission felt easier because we were talking about random bullshit and then the second half of the second mission kicked the fuck in. <laughs> That's how I try to remember if there were easy missions. If there was um, easy missions, yeah. It's like, were we talking about random shit? I can't even remember what the first mission was. It was, uh... Oh, it was Van Dorn. That's right. I can't believe we almost lost him immediately. It was scary. Yeah, we would have had three if the small scout had been a mission, but... Johnny Lump robbed you of your third mission today. Thank you very much to the subs and dubs. So many of you as always, I appreciate it. Thank you to Chris Tucker for the six month sub, the original Jet Boots Rocketeer. Patty P, 47 month sub. Master Kai Walker, 108 month sub. Uh, Maze the Ace, 55, 3 month sub. JMC, 924, 66 month sub. Blue Dragon, 43 months. Starbright Forever, Radio the Party, 15. Thank you very much. Sleepy, Sleepy Pan Jandrum, very generous tier 2 sub for 79 months in a row. Thank you for the 79 months tier 2 sub, Sleepy. Teen Ninja 9, subscribe. Welcome to subscribing, Teen Ninja. Shalkar, 67 months sub. Thank you. Uh, Mala, please, 5 months sub. Uh, hold up the sky. Hold up the sky with 43 months sub. Cable, Caber can subscribe. Welcome to subscribing, Cable. Thank you so much for that. I know it's not your first day here or anything, but thanks for subbing. Isaac, 29, 29 months sub, Rattle Rabbit, Raider of the Party of 8, Yuka, Raider of the Party of 7, and Adderkob, Raider of the Party of 57. Thank you all for your raids, appreciate it. A lot of raids today, appreciate it. Equilibrium, 09, 34 months sub, thank you for that and credits. Uh, the bomb missions have historically been pretty fucking hard on XCOM Kitchen. I can't imagine why. Uh, I'm going to do my best to do my best tomorrow. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. What more can you do but show up to the mission and do your best. We're going to raid Bed Bananas, who's playing Hell Let Loose. I enjoyed playing Hell Divers with Hell Bed the other day. I hope I get to play some armor with him as well. Anyway, Bed's a real cool guy. You've probably heard of him. You've probably seen a video of his uh, SCP, uh, GMA Paranormal, Star Citizen. He's a big, cool guy. He's like, he's like real legitimate. Not like me. So go check him out. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. I guess. I'm gonna go eat something. I'm real hungry. Thanks for being here, everyone. Have a wonderful one. And see you tomorrow for our first bomb mission of this campaign. I'm sure I won't fail. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.